Hello guys, so I'm back with something um, sewing related, I believe. I mean, I'm sure. My friend just gave me like, cause she's like moving soon and she had a bunch of scraps from like projects that she did and she was like, oh, do you want these? Like, I'm just gonna kind of like throw them away or give them away to sure, like that'd be kind of cool. So I like, so yeah, she gave me this like, just a random bag, but um, yeah, and I'm, I'm like, I want to look through it and see if I get inspired because they're kind of like scraps, right? So there's not going to be a lot of material with each fabric, like color or whatever. But I was thinking like, since I have a bunch of these, like maybe I can put them together and like make some sort of patchwork or a couple different patchwork pieces. Let's just go through it, man. Let's like do a little unboxing or I don't know, haul. Even just looking at this, like this is like, I mean she used it obviously so it's not gonna be the same measurement as like the Joann's thing. This is really pretty like solid linen. Ooh. And ooh like a shiny fabric. There's like a few different shiny like organza looking things. Really pretty iridescent one. It's like white one. Purple, pink, blue thing. And then, oh these are cute. What are these? Onions? What? No, pomegranates. <laughs> A bigger pomegranate. This one I really like. It's like a white. Like the pattern, like the print. Oh, it's gold. That's nice. It's like gold. Kind of makes me think that they're bunnies, but it's actually just some sort of... I'm pretty sure that's it's just like some sort of random pattern. Like I don't see... But to me it looks like bunnies. But yeah, there's like quite a lot of this one, so I could definitely make something out of this. Um, then there's a few satin things. Just this red one. Kind of looks like the same color as my like uh, reversible corset top that I made. Grayish purple chiffon. And the last but not least, some some more chiffon that is in like this. Oh, I forgot to show. Did I show this? It's so cute. Look at this. But yeah, so that's, the, that's what I'm working with. I could use this because this would pair really well with that. That's like so cute. I don't know if this would be too much to like put, make a patchwork thing out of these two. My various hoard it hordes of fabric and stuff that I think I'm going to use. Like this is like the little pinafore that I made that I don't really like because it wasn't really well made. <laughs> I don't know if it'd be too much to like make this and this be like a patchwork. That, that's like, this definitely screams fall. Which, I mean, I guess it's kind of turning into fall. Maybe I should save this for another project and just go with my patchwork plan. And I'll go into my box of ideas. My box of things that I need to create ideas for. <laughs> I'm super late to trends and stuff, but like, cause also I don't like trends, but then eventually they'll like get to me and then I'll start liking them once they're, once they're a little too old. But yeah, I'm sure you've seen like those kind of like uh, those patchwork style tops that are more like more abstract, you know? I don't think I'll be doing that, like have the overlocking or whatever on the outside. I'll probably still have it on the inside, but maybe going for some sort of like abstract thing like that rather than little squares of things. Cause I feel like that's, I mean, that is a look too, but that's definitely more like vintage-y. But yeah, so I think with this as sort of more of a base, since I have a lot more of this one, I could also like flip, I could also use this as more patchwork technically, because I could use some of the, like, some of it on the suede side and some of it on like the satiny side. Like I know it doesn't fall yet, but it's also like really cute. Okay, and my camera is overheating great. Hello, a little bit of cooling down for the camera and me. I kind of drew what I've seen from you know, other patchwork pieces, but okay, yeah. So this is what I drew. Don't mind this. I don't know what my my hand was doing. And then this is kind of like, these are definitely not really like designs, but like just giving myself a picture of like, I'll probably make the straps the same color because I feel like that would look a little bit too weird to have the straps a different color. But yeah, and just like trying to figure out where to place like this, this color is probably the most pop of intrigue, so it's definitely something you need to place intentionally. And you can't just have it everywhere. 
because if I wanted it to be the main focus, I'd just like put it all like just all over the front, you know? Like obviously I want to just do what I usually do, which is like not really have a plan <laughs> or have a vague plan and then see where that takes me. But at the same time, as funny as it is, I feel like patchwork, it's supposed to look random, but really when you think about it, it's like a puzzle that you have to put together. So you have to know what the puzzle pieces look like. Since I already made straps for this, I might just repurpose these. So I might just take these off yeah, I definitely want to make a pinafore again in the future. I just didn't really like how this one turned out because I feel like I was like rushing it, you know? I think I'm just going to cut um, this shirt, the shirt part off because I know I, I know I did this like weird thing with like the elastic bands. I definitely think the this smaller, more intricate fab, uh, pomegranate things should be on the shirt. I already, oh, I actually already have these as straps. So really, I just need to make kind of like a tube top, really. I just have to base it on my measurements. I was thinking of using the suede part as kind of like the main front portion somewhere in here. So I might just cut out like um, a weird design in this. I kind of like the idea of having things a little bit more triangular. So I'm just gonna cut something, you know? And these pieces I could even just flip over. So I'm just kind of like basing it off of like half of my waist. Okay, how does that look? I'm not like super sure if the orange really goes with the rest because I, I really like these two colors together. I'm just hoping that the, the this orangish red doesn't really throw things off, but I mean, it's fine. Like the whole point is to have like this kind of random look, I guess. And I'm realizing I'm not really giving myself so much seam allowance, so this could end up being kind of small. I'm actually kind of getting excited. Excited, I can't even say words right now. I need to go get my sewing machine, or at least try to bring this to a sewing machine. How am I gonna do that? Oh, I could kind of just like maybe place it on this and carry it without, but I don't know if that's possible without this fan blowing it away. I should probably turn that off. Uh, okay. Hi. Okay. I'm- I feel like the lighting is not the best here. I'm just gonna like start sewing. It is gonna be kind of confusing because we want to make all of these pieces right sides together, but they're like not normal connecting pieces, you know? So, so let's just- let's just dive into it, you know? And I haven't used this in a long- it feels like a long time. Okay, here's where it kind of gets a little confusing and I kind of already messed up. I realized I probably should have did these two first rather than sticking them onto this because as you can see, is it too dark in here? I can't even tell. But like it's, you know, this is like the raw edge right here. Uh, it's fine. Okay guys, so um, my camera overheated, but look, I think I finished. Don't mind the top part, cause that's gonna be like either cut or folded in. Currently, I'm like pretty impressed. I'm like, I mean, I don't know. This, like this section up here got kind of confusing. So I kind of had to just wing it, but I don't know, currently, how how is it looking? I, as I was putting it together, I was like, you know, I should probably just make this pretty easy for myself and make the back portion either one full panel of just like one color or make it two and then have it so that I could just tie it in the back so I don't have to figure out how to fasten this shirt, which I think will make it look really cool. I think it already 
since it's patchwork, it kind of already gives like a bandana-esque thing, like style to it. So if it if it also like just tied in the back, and it also um, I also have to figure out which which fabric I want to use as the back. Do I want to use the the orange? Because at first when I was thinking about it, I was like, oh, I'll use the orange. But now that I'm looking at it. This, sh this shirt doesn't really have as much suede as I might prefer, you know, like, because the suede is only, like, the middle piece. So maybe if I did the suede, it would kind of, it would kind of look cool. I just don't want suede in my armpits, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, I decided I really hated that lighting in there, so I'm just going to do all this on the floor. This is what it looks like so far. It's kind of, I mean, lopsided a little bit. What am I doing? Yeah, I'm working on the back piece, which I think I could just use this fabric and cut off some of the fabric from the bottom of this. Now you can see me and all my mess. Okay, so possible paper bag shorts for later. Not really sure how to like measure it other than just using my measurements. Like this is pretty much half of my torso, I guess. So this just needs to be the other half and then a little bit more so we have room to like tie. Oh my god, my battery's about to die. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie, I'm gonna make it so that this goes like that. This goes on this side. And then these will have kind of like a triangle tapering out. Okay, okay. Uh, let me do some stuff while my battery charges and I will get back to you. Uh, hi. So, <laughs> as you can see, I kind of finished this shirt. Uh, funny story, uh, I filmed the rest of my, like, putting this shirt together, right? I didn't check the camera settings, and so basically the footage, cut like, all of it looks like I'm just, like, filming on a potato. So I really don't think you guys want to see that. Um, I might as well just tell you what I did with the rest of the shirt. But yeah, so kind of a jump ahead. Sorry for that, but like, here's the shirt, kind of all said and done. I went through with like the, you know, tie back and stuff. And uh, I realized while editing that I, I didn't want suede in my armpits, but somehow I managed to do that to myself. But I mean, I think, it, I think it's still fine. This back wrap, tie portion was a little bit of a struggle. I don't think I even like really filmed that because like my camera died or something. But on the last day, I decided instead of making this shirt just a one-sided thing and then like hemming all the edges and stuff, I wanted to do it a little bit more like professionally, which was, which is making a whole other like inner layer so that you can uh, you can make the edges like really nice and then also because I thought about how like all the edges are kind of raw so if I were to keep kept that as a shirt then it would have probably fallen apart it is already kind of falling apart because I didn't like make these things like like do you see that it's kind of like falling apart a little like coming up a little bit but that's fine but yeah I just didn't really want a bunch of raw hems in I feel like that would be a little bit uncomfortable. So I did end up making like a second side to this and now the shirt is reversible, which is kind of cool. But yeah, so what that meant was I had to make a whole other front piece and then also make two more side panels too so that I could like make the whole shirt seamless, I guess. Then I had to like, you know, cut, cut those pieces out, sew everything together, sew things correctly. I even used an iron, which maybe I'll show you a clip of that and then you'll see a little bit the horrible footage, but first time actually like taking out an iron and doing things somewhat more professionally. And I sewed in the straps obviously too, so that's also pretty seamless as well. And now I have this crop top, but the only thing is I feel like it does, it does get a little bit loose over time, so you might have to like re-tie it a couple of times throughout the day if you're wearing it throughout the day. Okay, are you guys ready? Ready for the surprise. I mean, maybe you've seen it from the thumbnail, but like, ta-da! Here's the other side. What do you think? <laughs> Going back and editing this, obviously I was like, wouldn't want the, you know, pomegranates to be like the front and center thing. But then I ended up making like a whole shirt of it. Um, Cause I, I obviously scratched the idea of 
making a matching skirt or shorts or whatever. But yeah, so I kind of made this thing with like the suede on top and then the, the pomegranate, the bigger pomegranate pattern. And it definitely reminds me of something that is on, something that would be on Bagu if they made clothes. Cause I don't think they make clothes. It's just very out there, you know? Yeah, I decided to just use the rest of, or the majority of this orange fabric to kind of tie in the whole like patchwork on the other side too. But yeah, I just, I think it turned out really nice and the colors like ended up matching, not matching, but like working out pretty well. It definitely like both sides are definitely like a fall vibe, you know, which is fine, I guess, because it's almost going to be fall. I like, I think like in two weeks it's going to be fall, technically. I don't know if it'll feel like fall, but, but yeah. So that's the shirt. What do you guys think? Which side do you like better? Or do you like both of them? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sure it was very all over the place, but that's how it usually is. And if you enjoyed, make sure to give it a like and subscribe if you're new. If you're subscribing today, welcome to my sewing adventures. And I don't know, it's hot, I guess. And I don't know what to say. So I'll see you guys in the next video at some point, sometime soon. Okay. Also, thank you for 350 subscribers. Thank you for being here. <laughs>